And as Kirk was alluding to before we uh, went to the break, it's going to be a great night for some stargazing here in West Michigan, and that includes the Lyrids meteor shower. Often enough, it seems like the clouds kind of move in and take over when these meteor showers enter the forecast, but tonight going to be just the opposite. So you want to head outside and look off toward the east northeast up toward the star Vega and the constellation Lyra. That's where you're going to see the epicenter of the meteors come from this evening. Now, best time for meteor viewing in general going to be 10 o'clock till about 6 a.m. But because of the uh, somewhat bright moon this evening, we're thinking the best time here going to be 11 o'clock to 2 a.m. And again, looking off toward the northeast. If everything goes to plan, you should be looking at the possibility of 10 to 20 meteors per hour. Now the peak is tonight, but we could seek additional peaks as we head into tomorrow night. But the weather not going to be very conducive for stargazing as we head toward tomorrow. As far as we're looking up for sky conditions this evening, clear skies in place as we head toward midnight, looking at peak time here right around midnight to just after midnight should have no problem seeing those meteors. But if you wait closer to sunrise, cloud cover starts to move back in. So better to uh, stay up late to catch it this evening than get up early because once those clouds move in, it's all done for when it comes to seeing the meteors. As far as temperatures go, certainly could be worse this time of the year, but not too bad. We'll be looking at temperatures hanging around in the 40s, dropping into the 30s as we head into the early a.m. hours of tomorrow. So maybe a jacket, certainly a blanket, something comfortable. Always a good advice as you head out to catch those meteor showers across the region. When it comes to some meteor viewing tips, we can pass your direction. That again, going to be bring something comfortable to head outside to uh, sit on. Allow about 20 to 30 minutes for your eyes to adjust to the darkness. And you want to really get away from the city lights and out there into uh, the country to have the best viewing experience when it comes to the meteor showers, but again, really not going to see any problems tonight when it comes to the weather forecast.